If you're new to stained glass, this rainbow piece is the perfect project to start on, and that's because it has simple and easy to cut rectangle pieces that'll help you get used to the process and tools. And if you're wondering what kind of tools you'll need, check the description below, we link everything down there. So let's get cracking. First, we'll need to mark off where to cut our six x six sheet of cathedral glass. You should have one sheet of glass for each color of the rainbow. Using a ruler, measure out one inch from the glass's edge and draw a line with a marker. To cut the glass, we'll need to score it first. With your glass cutter, put enough pressure to make a score line from end to end. You'll know if you've scored the glass if you hear this. Next, take running pliers and position it so that the middle indicator on its tip lines up with the score line on your glass. And now for the moment of truth. Yep, that score line wasn't straight. A little more got cut off at one end, but we can fix that later. Snap off the rest of your glass pieces. By now you should have quite a few microscopic glass shards on your table. Be sure to wipe them off to the side before the next step. We'll need to sand the glass before preparing them for soldering. It'll help smoothen the edges and fix any cutting errors. Before you start sanding, wear a mask so that you're not inhaling glass dust. With a sight stone, grind down the glass edges. If the edge is straight and doesn't need any fixing, you don't have to sand it much. For this one with the curved cut, we'll need to sand it down until both sides are almost level with each other. Once you've sanded every piece, wipe off all of the glass dust from your table. Usually before I prep the glass pieces for soldering, I'll clean them with a semi-damp paper towel. This removes the line you made with the marker, if it's still on the glass, and all the glass dust from sanding. Next, we're going to prep the glass pieces for soldering. For this, you'll need copper foil. This gives the solder a surface to stick to. Putting on the copper foil can be a little tricky. What you have to do is make sure that your glass edge is in the middle of your copper foil. That way, the copper foil will be even on both sides of the glass, which then produces even solder seams. Try not to touch the copper foil's adhesive as much, because then it won't stick to the glass. When you've gotten all around and you're back to the start, evenly line up the copper foil and cut it off. It's okay if you overlap both sides. Next, we'll burnish the copper foil. With a burnishing tool, flatten the copper foil along all of the edges of your glass piece. It may be a little hard when it comes to the textured side of the glass, but a fid tool can be really handy with that. Once it's fully burnished, we can finally put these glass pieces together. Line up your glass pieces and place push pins all around your edges. This will keep the glass pieces in place while you're soldering. With a paintbrush, put some liquid flux on the top of the copper foil. Flux is what helps the solder stick to the copper foil. Next, you'll need to choose your solder. I'm using 6040 because its melting temperature makes it the best for producing smoother solder seams. Depending on the solder you chose, set your soldering iron to that temperature. If you're using 6040 like me, you can set it to 360 degrees as a starting point. Once your soldering iron is fully heated, clean the tip using a wire type tip cleaner. Now when soldering, hold your soldering iron at a 45 degree angle to the glass. Then, keep your solder under your soldering iron as you go along the seam. To produce nice soldering seams with no breaks or air holes, slow and steady is the way to go. If you get solder on the glass, don't worry, just put the soldering iron over it and it'll come right off. When excess solder pools up, you can melt it and move it somewhere else so that you're not wasting solder. Once you're done with the front, turn it over and put liquid flux on the back. Before soldering, clean the soldering iron tip again. Go down each seam line and edge with solder. Once you're done, let it cool. Next, we'll need to clean off the liquid flux. It's acidic, so it's not safe to leave on. If you don't have flux remover, some people use a combination of Windex, and 91% isopropyl rubbing alcohol, or a combination of baking soda and dish soap. Either way, use a cotton swab along the soldering seams and wherever you got the flux. 
And then all you have to do is find two copper rings to solder to the top and get some chains so that you could hang it to your window. If this video helped, please give us a like. And if you're looking for more arts and crafts how-tos or to learn something new and entirely different, be sure to check out our how-to hub and subscribe. Your next project might be right here. Well, I gotta get back to making more stained glass for our next how-to, so I'll catch you guys later. <sighs> Pinwheel is definitely my favorite.